my goal with today's video is to not edit it and just chill, have a nice chatty time with you. I feel like last week's video and a few of the ones that have been going up recently have been a little bit heavier. And let's be honest, the world is just flipping heavy right now. So I thought, why not mix it up and do an empties video? I haven't done one of these all year. I don't even know if I did any in 2019 perhaps, but it's been a really long time. I stopped doing these, and if you're unfamiliar with an empties video, basically I have hoarded my garbage in a large shopping bag that now was overflowing, and I'm gonna go through the products that I finished and tell you whether you should try them or whether not to waste your money on them. usually like to play count the dry shampoos so maybe we'll just start with hair products I um, try to shop mostly cruelty free when I can and I was impressed to learn that herbal essences is now cruelty free so this is the boosted volume body and envy shampoo and conditioner I have no loyalty to any shampoo and conditioner the only thing i notice that works really well for my hair specifically is if i mix it up so i always have two sets in my shower and i rotate and my hair seems to really like that if i use the same one too many times in a row it seems to produce more oil and not great so i have oily hair but i only wash my hair every four days and that has changed the oil production so so much i used to wash my hair every single day and then finally my hairdresser jesse years ago was like girl you need to stop <laughs> so it's a bit of a like transition for your hair but it is true the less you wash it the less oil it does produce so these i would totally recommend you buy i think they're like two three dollars each and we all like a bargain product so right now i have the tea tea fully tea trilly green ones in my shower and they're like a nice rejuvenating scent then the other two that i had at the same time were the love beauty and planet brand argan oil and lavender smooth and serene i've seen these at shoppers but these ones in particular i bought from winners like january i've definitely gone through less shampoo and conditioner in 2020 because i'm not leaving my house <laughs> so i can stretch it out even longer these were nice I did like the lavender scent, um, and again, these were a bargain. They were $5.99 at Winners, and also cruelty-free. The Aussie Three Minute Miracle, if you've been watching my channel for a while, this is something I learned about, I think, when I first started watching YouTube a decade ago. It used to only be available in the States, and now you can get it in Canada. Um, and it's exactly what it is. It's a hair mask, but it only you only leave it in for three minutes, so... It's great. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I will. This is like, again, like $3 at the drugstore. I like it. Okay, count the dry shampoos, four. I, um, I am someone who likes a powdered dry shampoo. Dry shampoo. I like the Shampure <laughs> from Aveda. But um, to be honest, the one that I have is almost out and the dispenser is clogged and it started to really piss me off during quarantine. So I went back to aerosol ones. I know you can yell at me, but that's where we're at. The Dove one, some of you had recommended that I try and then I saw it, it was on sale at Shoppers again, like back in January for like two bucks. This was the fresh coconut dry shampoo wasn't a fan. Dove does make just like a regular one. It, it's more pink. That is super cheap. I, I think it's like two or three bucks. It works, but it's real fragrant. Really fragrant to keep in mind. This is my favorite, Batiste. I know like, I know aerosol isn't good for the environment. I know, I know, I know. Um, but Batiste, as you can tell, is my favorite. <laughs> the original or the floral and flirty blush, already repurchased, will continue to repurchase. I need to get a new Aveda one, but 
I need to rectify that. I just haven't yet. This is great. I think it's vegan and cruelty free. Does that, does that help balance it out? But I love Batiste. So if you're wondering, I wash my hair, then the next day I put nothing in it. Then the third day, sometimes I can go without dry shampoo. Then the fourth day, definitely dry shampoo and then I'll wash it. The next one. So like I would wash it on a Monday, nothing on a Tuesday, maybe dry shampoo on the Wednesday and then if I could get away with it, not wash it on the Thursday and then wash it on the Friday. It just all depends. Couple of deodorants that I went through. Lady Speed Stick, always a fave. Secret was at the drug, was at the grocery store. So I, when I did my online IGA order, this is what I got. Both kept me from being stinky. <laughs> if you have a natural deodorant that you think I should try, let me know. But honestly, every single one I've tried has not worked with my body's pH and I have zero tolerance for BO. So let me know if you have one I should try. This is another shower <laughs> combo that I wanted to just share. This has been the shave gel that I have been using since I'm pretty sure I started shaving. Skin to Mitt, really cheap at the drugstore. As you can see, that's a theme right now. I've been in like a real saving money kind of mode in 2020, which many of us have been. I know lots of people use conditioner or they just use a bar of soap, but I like a shave gel and this is the one that I use, the dry skin. And I saved one razor because I wanted to tell you, if you go to Costco, this is the Chic Quattro. It comes in a pack of like 15 or 20. These were awesome. They lasted me so long. Next time, if and when I ever go to Costco again, I would 100% get the pack of this because they're super cheap, shave really well, last forever. Okay. Um, what else do we wanna do? Okay, more shower stuff. Some shower gels. Um, this is the Aromatherapy Sleep Lavender and Cedar Wood from Bath & Body Works. I honestly didn't use it a ton as body wash because it's both body wash and bubble bath. I used it more as bubble bath and it's a beautiful scent for the evening. I like this. This lotion, the Lavender and Cedar Wood lotion, I got from a couple marathoners Christmas of 2017. And it's my favorite nighttime lotion. The shower gel was lovely as well. This was a random winner's purchase from Philosophy, the Melon Daiquiri Shampoo Shower Gel Bubble Bath. I only ever used it as bubble bath. I didn't use it as shampoo. Sorry, just making sure that text wasn't about Thomas. Um, and I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I see so many people rave about philosophy, like it's this like beautiful brand and so many YouTubers forever like highly coveted it. It left my skin super dry and I didn't like it. So I wouldn't be getting it again. A scent that I love, I wonder if I can still smell it. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's the Tahitian TRA from Spa of the World, which is a line at the body shop. This is the body wash but it, um, or a uh, bubble bath, but it has like, it says an oil in gel effect. So moisturizing, so lovely. I'd never even heard of this, but the unicorn bought this for me for Christmas. I think he got me a ton of body shop stuff. I think it was for Christmas last year. This scent is beautiful. The Tahitian Tiare, loved this body wash. And then, since we're on like, oh, <laughs> I just kept this too. He also got me the hand soap and I loved it as well. I don't normally buy like little hand soaps like this. I buy like the four liter jug and then just, um, you know, replenish it, but it's cruelty free, etc. And the scent, it's vegan. The scent of this Tahitian Tiare is top notch. Three different tubs from Bath & Body Works. This is the Hawaiian Kukai, I'm butchering that I'm sure, cream, rich nourishing body cream. Let me just show you the label and then you can read it and do with it what you will. Oh yeah, this scent was wonderful. Super nourishing, a bit difficult to put jeans on, but let's be honest, most lotions are. 
would definitely get this again. This, oh my, so many hard words. Brazilian Capu Cap, Cup of Cow. Mm. Sorry for whatever language this is. Come on, told you I'm not editing this, so. <laughs> there we go. However you would pronounce that. I'm sure you're all pronouncing it out loud as you're watching this. This was the scrub in oil, a nourishing body scrub. So it was like super oily and then it had the scrub. It doesn't smell good now, but it did at the time. Pretty hard pressed to find a body shop like body product that I haven't loved. And then this, I'm sure many of you will not be surprised if you've watched an empty empties the Ethiopian green coffee cream it is it says a firming body cream I can't I can't tell you if it like it firms anything I'm in my late 30s um, but I do like the cream a lot and this one I find um, absorbs really nicely for jeans so um, another scrub that was a gift from one of you is the K-Pure Smooth Vanilla Organic Sugar Scrub for Hand and Body. K-Pure is a BC brand and I've never smelled anything like this. Like I wish this was a cocktail. It's so beautiful. I need to look into K-Pure and buy some of more of their stuff. Um, when I went to Vegas last year with Farm and his friend Red, uh, she had a ton of K-Pure stuff and like she smelled so good. I was always like, what's that body wash? Like, what's that lotion? This was beautiful. So if you want to support a BC brand, 10 out of 10 recommend. If you're local, to me, something pretty sells it. Okay. <laughs> I thought there would be more hand creams in this video, but... um. I'm guessing I just didn't save a lot. So this was, I think, a gift from my Auntie Anna, the Body Shop Shea hand cream, which is amazing. And this, I think, was a gift as well. Unicorn? Anyway, Kind Natured Coconut Hand Cream. It was wonderful. So many, I'm sure so many of you are like me and going through a million and six hand creams lately. Okay, I don't have a ton of face products, but this is one of the last times that you're ever gonna see this brand in an empties. I've been using Dermavigils for years, five years, four years, a very long time. But unfortunately, in the spring, the place where I buy it locally stopped selling it and I am unable to purchase it. So I've had to switch to find other things. I'm still working on completing my skincare regime and once I have, I will let you know. Um, but if you can find Dermavigils, I loved it. I like my, it, it helped my skin so much. That's why I used it for so long. The face tonic, the day cream with SPF, and the eye gel plus. If you ever see this in your local like spa or whatever locally, it's wonderful. And then, um, oh, this was in a recent video, the Midnight Paloma face oil. I used it up. I loved it. I will definitely repurchase. It, um, I don't think you're gonna be able to see. Hello. <laughs> Again, I usually edit out me trying to like focus a product. There we go. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so wonderful. Again, another BC brand, Midnight Paloma. Loved it. Okay. It's really hot in here. Really hot in here. Couple of perfumes I finished. This is the Elizabeth and James Rose Nirvana. Like the packaging itself is so flippin' pretty, but and I loved the scent of it. Is there any left? No, none left. I don't think they're making these anymore because at one point I remember seeing them being like on clearance on the Sephora website. But if you ever see them at like um, Winners or TJ Maxx or TK Maxx, I loved it. And then this has been like my favorite perfume for a thousand years. Britney Spears Fantasy. Oh yeah, there's none left either. <laughs> I just love the smell of it so much. 
It's been my like scent forever. I love it. I always and forever will love it. Makeup. If you're still here, thanks. <laughs> okay, um, th this is an every single empties, the Marcel Flawless Skin Fusion Foundation and the Flawless Skin Fusion Concealer. These are my go-tos. I am in, if you're wondering, buff beige, light medium. Love them. Nothing bad to say about these two products. Just find them at like the drugstore, oil-free, hydrating, hypoallergenic, all the things they say they'll do. Made in Canada, we love that. I tried a couple, another um, foundation because I had seen lots of people raving about this e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation and it's much cheaper because it's e.l.f. And I was very impressed, like I finished it. Um, I was in, I picked the color beige and it says light with cool pink undertones. So to be honest, I liked it, but I didn't repurchase it. So I think maybe I got the wrong shade. It's so hard to tell in the drugstore, but like considering it's, you know, e.l.f. and it, I think this foundation is less than $5. It's glass packaging. e.l.f. is cruelty free. Like they're a wonderful brand. Um, yeah, so maybe look find it yourself, try and be better with your own sh shade. Another e.l.f. product I used up is the Matte Magic Mist and Set, and I have repurchased this. The Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Um, I just got a little baby one when I was in Sephora or, yeah, Sephora in Vegas. Didn't repurchase it. Like. Sometimes the drugstore is just where it's at, which it's always been for mascara for me. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. Always and forever, my favorite mascara. Again, from the drugstore. Cruelty free, amazing. <sighs> if you've been an OG marathoner, we're back on the CO Bigelow Rose South bandwagon. This lip balm, I love it. There's just nothing bad to say about it. I get it usually at Bath and Body Works. As you can tell, like look at that, she used it up. Um, it's cheap at Bath and Body Works. That's where I normally get it. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. This is disgusting, <laughs> forewarning, but I kept this just to show you. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender, like beauty sponge. It's gross because it's old, so I'm not gonna put it too close to the camera. But I just wanted to say, if you have always wanted to try the Beauty Blender, but you don't want to spend like $30 on it, try the Real Techniques ones. You can get them at Winners Online. Real Techniques is a brand that was started by a couple of YouTubers in the UK, so I love to support that as well. It's just as good. And it's like a third of the price, a quarter of the price. Wonderful. Just make sure you get it wet before you use it. Don't use it dry. This needs to go in the trash. And last, <laughs> oh, thank you for sticking with me. Um, I have some essential oils and some like calm down bits. This isn't a calm one, but this is something that I just have to show you. This is another BC brand. It's called Back to Earth. It's cruelty free, vegan, all the great things. I buy this at IGA, so my grocery store, but look it up. This is Pain Be Gone Muscle Rub with Arnica. This is the best pain relief lotion. I love it. Um, it will be on my grocery list when I order groceries tomorrow. I put it on my neck and my shoulders all the time when I have a headache. That's where I hold a lot of my tension, especially if you get like text neck or you're on your computer a lot. If I got a headache, I put it behind my ears. Cannot recommend this pain be gone enough. In fact, I may need to give it for Christmas. Another relaxing is the Sage Tranquility Mist. Um, I won't be repurchasing it, but I love Sage as you'll see. I uh, finished the Bliss blend from Sage. I think this is another, I think this is a BC company too. Um, and 
I repurchased this scent from them. I love Bliss. Um, Liquid Sunshine. They have a calm one that I love. And I'm surprised I only have one of these, but this is the Peppermint Halo Rollerball. And I'll put a link below for this. I think this is probably the only thing I'm gonna link below. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I think I may have a coupon for a Sage. If I do, I'll link it below. But I buy these two at a time. They are great for behind your ears, your temple, good little sniff. If you have a headache, energy, I put it down here and then like nape of my neck. I love it so much. Be it's replaced this for me, the past tense from doTERRA, which is just funny. This is the last one that I have only because I don't have a doTERRA rep and so I have no way to buy it anymore. This was my go-to. And if you didn't like this, um, try the Peppermint Halo. I'll try and link that below. I'm not going to go through all these products and link them, but I probably should. I'm not going to. <laughs> Another K Pure Deep Breath. I bought this actually um, last year, I think, and finally finished it. It's a nice essential oil. This Woolsey's Sleep, you know, you. <laughs> I get so many messages when you find this in um, winners, which I'm very appreciative of. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> That reminds me of a YouTuber, let me know. And then the last one from Woolsey's is just lavender. <coughs> Bedtime, for sure. Oh, and another peppermint halo. I knew I had two of them. I buy them two at a time. That's the empties. If you're still here, comment below. <laughs> Tell me something good about your weekend. <laughs> Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Thanks for hanging out. I just wanted to do something like light and fun and chill today. We'll be back to vlogs um, next week. I'm gonna do some just like follow me around vlogs for the next few weeks. Thank you for watching. Let me know what products of this you like, anything that I should try. <sighs> and I will see you next week. Take care of yourselves, give yourselves some self high fives and I'm gonna go put this all in the recycling and have a snack because I'm hungry. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.